I'm at the local Walmart. It's early morning. It's gonna rain later today, but uh, I checked the hourly weather. And you see it's it's kind of like a little bit sunny, but lots of clouds. So it's gonna start raining about, about 12 o'clock noon today. Time now is quarter to eight. And I, you know, I arranged the uh, appointment with uh, an appointment with the car shop to install to install the new unlocked PCM and the cable and the bypass cable. But then I talked to uh, the owner, and he says, "Yeah, guys, don't like going behind the dash, you know, because it's." It's a lot of, it's very tight in here. It's it's pretty delicate, but I already did it once and I'm pretty confident I, I can do that. Actually, I watched my older, older video when I did this install on the Challenger. And these are pretty similar cars, but I decided I'm gonna install the bypass cable today myself. And then when Thursday, I have the appointment at the OK Tire in Cambridge. They'll just, uh, you know, disconnect the battery and take out the PCM. For them, it's a piece of cake. Um, but for me, that's the difficult part. I only did it once and I almost broke the big connector uh, because it's super tight in there. You know, it's hard to, un uh, like I was able to take out one yeah, I was able to take out the old PCM, but when I was trying, when I when I was attempting to put in the new one, the unlocked one on the Challenger, I, you know, like I have pretty big hands, and you just don't have enough space in there. So, so I suggest if you if you never did this before, if you're not a mechanic, I suggest uh, taking the car to some kind of a shop that can do that kind of performance work of course not the dealer <laughs> because I can only suspect what they would show up what they would say if I say hey I need to change the PCM how are you guys uh, are you are you are you busy this week no they don't do, they don't do that for some reason dealers don't like doing uh, performance improvements and so this car only has two things uh, changed from the original uh, manufacturing status quo so to speak it's the catback exhaust from Flowmaster uh, American Outlaw like just small small mufflers but full cats but just high flow cats and then I, I did the long tube headers from uh, stainless stainless works and now of course I have the check engine light and that's why I need the tuner so I'm gonna I'm gonna just read the instructions here so I watched this guy, I watched one guy, he has a, uh, he has a Ram 1500 and he has a, a charger and he has videos on his channel on YouTube how he installed the same Diablo Sport bypass on both of these vehicles and surprisingly now like I wish I would it would be as easy as this like a Ram, a Ram just gives you this module see like Ram or Jeep uh, starting in 2019 you just get this plastic cube and you open that right side compartment and you unplug two wires and you plug them in in this instead of in the, they're plugged in there in the dash somewhere there under the dash right and you just plug them in this and you tie it down and you close it like this is much easier right you don't have to thread any cables behind the dash uh, behind the center console but for me it's the same as as what I did with the, with the Challenger so it's just a cable with a couple of connectors on the end and you, you only lose one and that this is a pretty big job you know but again it's it's just tedious and takes a lot of time and attention so uh, caffeine is recommended and I would I would stay away from alcohol because it it can cloud your judgment and it'll make things actually much more difficult.
Now step one, move the electric oven from behind the passenger seat to create a room so that the seat can go further back. That's step one. And I'm not gonna disconnect I'm not gonna disconnect the battery. Like I think last time I disconnected the battery, but that's not required here. Now step two, take out the 45 pound barbell plates and hiking poles from the passenger seat. Step three, take out the driver side for me. Oh, that's my new fancy light I got from. That's it. That's not good. You see? One, two, three. Three clips. Okay. Just like last time. Just went on the challenger. Another light. Actually, this one might be more useful. very similar to my challenger so it has this Y over here so you can unplug it I cannot plug it but it's not actually in the way and the connector is over here so over here the green ones and then you have to somehow thread the cable over there to the other side and tie it down somewhere here.
cannot see which way. Uh huh. So this way. So I got it. Had to climb in there myself, and <laughs> and why I wouldn't go in is because I was trying to plug in the green one. Now we're using only the white one. Green one stays here. It's for something else. Now, if you're by yourself and you don't have a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, you know, it helps to have a just any kind of a like a cable. Uh, like this one is from my uh, steamer, you know, where I boil water. So it's very, it's thick, but it doesn't have any um, up, you know, spots where it might get caught. So this is my second attempt. I tried first to. So basically, you see, it comes out closer here. It comes out closer to to the seat, like instead of over there. Hold on, where is my? Yeah, you see, you would think that there's an opening over there, but turns out there's opening over here. And I remember last time it was like this. So it's closer to the seat, right behind this panel. Now let me show you how it looks on that side. But yeah, it's so tight, you know, when... Like I mentioned in the challenge video, it would really, it would really help to... Yeah, you see? That's the way I put it in. So it's just electric cable. So now hopefully it's not gonna get caught. When I tried to do it over there, it got caught onto something. I barely wasn't able to, to take it out by itself. So now what we do is just pray that it's not gonna get caught onto something. But what I did last time, right? I just need to. I just need to. I need to thread this in there somehow. And this is pretty big, <laughs> but you know. I'll try to push it through somehow. So I just use the zip tie. And then when it's on the other side, I'll tie down the rest over here because there's a spot. I remember last time I used the, I used the, like this thing over here. See that? Why here it's like almost yeah it's very strong so i'm just gonna tie down this the, the loose end of this cable i'm gonna tie down to that with the zip tie so now let's see this I think please 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 don't get stuck on don't get stuck <laughs>
can see that's what I use so anything anything like sturdy you know like this and of course I got cut somewhere on some shop shop plastic somewhere there it never goes easy so now I can just plug this in into my OBD port and hide the rest somewhere there behind and then I can tie down tie down I'm gonna make it very tight in here and leave the rest over there because there's much more room on that side and just tie down there and then all I need to do just cover put that plastic uh, carpet cover in place and it just snaps in well I managed to tuck it in like under this thing see I open this this thing just sits like there and I, I drag the cable over there and then you see it's this one over here and I oh and I put it in here behind this so I didn't even have to tie it down anyway except of course it's close to the pedal to the but that's how it has to sit like this and that's the only orientation but I never use the brake I never use this brake anyway so it's actually gonna be easy I'm gonna use this as a kind of like landmark when I'm you know feeling for that port but that's that's the correct way because you see that's that's female because this one is male see it, it has this so that's what connects to the actual tuner and I think I'll just I don't even know if I'll have it set up maybe I'll just I'll have to disconnect this and just install the tuner in the same spot so now all I have to do is just tie down tie down that uh, excess cable access cable you see like now we have this so like I said I'm just gonna tie it down to this spot in here and as long as it's you see like this thing will go in there and so it has to be taller than that and that's it So now I have to restock all this stuff and after that we can try and hook up we can try to hook up the tuner and that was the major goal of today hook up the tuner and download 
the factory uh, tune. By the way, I had lots of mess under the carpet. I cleaned up the car. I cleaned up the mat a little bit. I have some interior cleaner, and I don't have a vacuum cleaner. So, but I found some tape. You know, when you don't have a vacuum cleaner, all I need is some sticky tape, and I use this. Uh, just some kind of a yeah this one <laughs> i used this one and it just took me 10 minutes cleaned up you know inside pretty good because i had lots of dust in there all right step one reading the factory pcm Install the provided security bypass cable. Follow instructions in manual. Done. Two, with factory PCM still installed, connect your Trinity B or I3 to vehicle. A, agree to the disclaimer if it appears. B, select tuning, tune vehicle. C, turn the key on if requested and press continue. D, screen will display, please wait getting vehicle information factory data retrieved and so the last message should be factory data retrieved please install an unlocked ecu or contact customer service please press continue to reboot turn ignition off disconnect tuner disconnect battery okay so So I think I'll, I'm not gonna install it, you know, permanently now. Now I'm just gonna attach it and hope that it works. I will just read, read the, uh, the PCM, but this is some massive cable, man. On the, on the uh, i3, I feel like this is HDMI, like real stuff. But the cable is very long. It's very long. That's one of the reasons why. I'm not sure. I want to attach it permanently to the windshield. Let's see what happens. Like I said, choose tuning, right? It's getting vehicle information. And it's not telling me anything, like it's still off. But this one is much faster than that i3. i3 was just garbage, you know? Just... Okay, turn ignition on or put into run mode. Do not start the engine. Turn ignition off. Okay, turn ignition on. Factory data retrieved. Please install an unlocked ECU or contact customer service. Please press OK to continue. To continue. Mm. 
No, I don't. We don't need that. That's already done. Yeah, I think we can disconnect. So data retrieved. That's what it needs. It needs to retrieve data. And so for now, I'll just. But yeah, this cable is massive. Huh? Like, where do you hide it? I remember the one guy was saying that on his charger there's a couple of clips in here but he was able to put like this part you can open this part and just hide this cable in there maybe you know that's what I'll ask the guys at the shop to do because I, I'm afraid to break this you know but they might know how to take it out or maybe they don't know I don't know but honestly, I'm more used to to a tuner. Just you know, you hook it up when you when you need it. When you need to tune the the the, the computer. But it just has some cool, you know, colors and cool gauges. So I don't know. But. It has this pretty similar, so it would be somewhere here like this. Maybe I'll like put it lower, and that's not blocking my view because actually, see that the post is there, right? So I would just put it like this, touching this here. Actually, yeah, it would be probably it would be cool to have it, you know. Like because this is much more expensive than than uh, the Trinity i3. So I remember it was less than six hundred dollars with the i3 and the swap. All right. So now it's eleven hundred dollars, of course, US because it's a much more expensive tuner. And instead of doing the swap, I just bought the second unlocked PCM. So I'm gonna keep this one as a spare, just in case something happens. But of course, as soon as I install it, it'll be back to factory tuning and the check engine light will reappear. Speaking about, speaking about check engine lights, the last test. Let's see if it, uh, well, it starts. And that beep means that the check engine light is on. The throttle works. So I didn't change anything, right? I just installed the bypass cable. But yeah, it's a lot of work actually. But you know, if you, if you, like I did it once before. And of course, first time it was, it was very difficult because it's so tight. You could not see that connector because turns out that green connector is right here. It's much closer this way. So if you go under there and you try to look for it closer to the engine, you will never see it. I'm telling you, like on the challenge, it took me a while. So the real nice trick that I learned from watching some YouTube movies is when they, you just use your phone, right? You use your phone and you switch it to a front camera and you put it like this and then you can see. But it's still, it's uh, in uh, putting it in that white connector it's still easier unless you have super nice you know uh, eyesight but I couldn't f I couldn't see which side it has to go in so I had to climb in there and physically and then I could see you know the connector and I could orient it properly because it's a very uh, a complex uh, you know geometry of that connector so it, it can only go in one way and of course it's only white green is not used only white and then you see you just tie it down so of the tools I would say you only need a screwdriver just to pop up this uh, that panel in there right and then you need some tie downs some zip ties and it's useful to have that uh, you know something like pliers so that you can 
uh, or cutters so that you can cut those uh, things oh and then very important you must have a some some strong cable like this some electric cable uh, like what I use so you can thread it from here and then you zip tie the plug and you just pull it and again it's closer this way it's not because there's a couple of holes in there so not the one towards the engine bay but the one closer to the seat and that's it and then you just find a way to hide it over there hook it up and you're done all right so now all I gotta do is wait for the day after tomorrow when I'm gonna take the car to the shop and they're gonna install the, the unlocked PCM and I'll do another video about that uh, because it'll be I'll be it'll be curious to see one if the unlocked PCM will fix the check engine light and two I should get more power and more torque uh, I'm gonna do some you know driving tests so so that's it thanks for watching so hopefully this video was helpful and if you are installing a bypass cable on a charger or a challenger uh, this will help you ciao